Hey, what's up guys? Ace Player here and welcome back to another Stick War 3 video. The new update is out to the public and what better way to showcase it than by encapsulating a beautiful 2v2 replay that shows what the update has to offer. So we got an amazing Ouroboros statue on the right and on the left we got a cute little pink mare babber going on. But the scariest thing here is look at all these costumes. There's so many, it's sensory overload. We got the leafy green Archidon, but we also got the flame and lava Archidon, but we also got the ice Archidon. It's a lot to handle, and uh, hopefully these guys will be able to take care of it, and more importantly, hopefully the game doesn't lag. But uh, so far, things are actually looking very nice, and I spoke with Brock. The oh my god, and here comes the bombers. But anyway, I spoke with Brock, and he said that this new armory system, which I made a video about earlier, if you guys are interested. I uh, left thoughts about that and all that jazz. But whoa, look at this laggy spell. Uh, that's a little bit of a performance issue, but what isn't a performance issue is those armory items being a mix and matchable. I was talking to the coder about that, and he said that there's literally no downside. So that's pretty cool. It means uh, hopefully we can have millions and millions of armory items without repercussions. Whoa! And it looks like the right side it just doesn't really care that all of their things are dying to poison, and they are getting uh, resurrected as opponents they just don't seem to care too much and i bet you if there was another acid rain they'd probably just let it happen <laughs> which is an interesting decision to say the least i mean the side on the left they definitely have a bit of poison play with the deads going on but they also do have aoe bombers and that could be very annoying when paired with an endless horde of boys if you just aoe whatever they're trying to stop. It could be quite uncounterable. It's the power of 2v2. You have to be on your toes at all times. The right side though, they definitely got a little bit of a problem and that is they are locked into Spearture and Spearture only. Now, they are hoping to use this tower to potentially uh, turn the tide, I guess, with spam. But uh, what they are actually doing is just letting their Archidons die and turn into deads. Now, those bombers are also poisoned, and they're gonna kinda get wrecked, unfortunately, by uh, existing <laughs> in the poison realm. But here comes the Spearton to reinforce. Hopefully, never mind, he's just gonna take a seat. But the one on the right, though, that one is putting in work, and now the tower spawned from the left side as well. So things are looking dangerous for Chaos Market and Hung Mosquito. They, uh, they're kind of running out of options, I think. All right, it looks like everyone's running back. They're a little bit spooked. I don't blame them. It's a lot to take in. Here comes the counterattack. More poison basically telling you to pack your bags and go home or face the repercussions, and Hung Mosquito and Chaos Market, they don't seem to care. They're actually going to push in all the way, which is a very bold choice. They have no way to heal, except for that one way, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> but now that that's up, anything else that happens to them is on them, and they won't be able to stop it. The Cure did not reach these Archidons in the back, so they're actually going to die and turn into deads on the way home. This is not good news for these guys. you got to be careful and actually value what you're curing and healing with the spells. Because now, there's a bunch of deads, it's just things are going to get out of hand with Toxic Totality, just turning things into more things. And it's going to halt the tower spawn as well. Look at that stall. And that's not even anything that the people on the left have to do. It's just kind of happening naturally while they uh, just kind of chill out and prepare for the next phase. Now, I will say Cooper should probably start making some people instead of just spamming uh, bombers and acid rain over and over again and sending them into these infinitely spawning people. But... Um, I mean, what else was he going to do? He only brought bombers. <laughs> I didn't even notice that until now. But look, now they're poisoned bombers, and they're coming, and they're all going to explode on that Spearton, and it's not going to be all that worth it at all. 
But look at this poison stuff going on in the background. They ignored the acid rain once again, and these guys are for real, for real gonna turn into deads in the back line. That could become an issue, but the bigger issue is everything is dead. Now they're able to push in and maybe even take back the tower and stop their infinite tower spawn, which was their only potential saving grace. This is all gonna come down to if they are able to take care of that. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Hello? So, uh, does that mean I can... Sweet. <laughs> what an awesome update. Well, I think that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about the new update. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>